Hi everybody. As predicted, Pogacar went for his sixth stage victory on this year's Giro, taking another dominant and uncontested victory, adding over two minutes to his GC lead. Here's the resulting GC for this year's Giro, with Pogacar winning with a 10-minute gap on Martinez and G. On today's stage, we saw Bardet drop two spots and Storer climbing into 10th. Tiberi, whom I had not picked amongst my favorites because I wanted to see him confirm in a Grand Tour, has proven me wrong, which is great to see. We've seen a very mature ride from him, seriously good climber, good descender and strong time trial. If it hadn't been for the time lost due to the punctures on the Europa stage, he may even have been in the mix for the podium. So overall, our community predicted the magnitude of Pog's dominance quite well even though he almost did the unthinkable by taking more than 10 minutes on his nearest competitor. Then, I'm really stoked to see my Giro GC podium prediction being confirmed with another clean sweep. Kudos to myself for that one. Jonathan Milan will take home the points competition, and amongst the sprinters, Aniolkowski is one to watch and remember for the future. Next to the pink jersey. Pogacar will also take home the climbers jersey, yet we'll see Pelizzari wearing it, which is absolutely amazing. This 20-year-old is definitely one of my revelations of this year's Giro. Also, Valentin Parepeintre has come of age, and Steinhauser will be on my breakaway rider list for whatever Grand Tour he enters in the years to come. And last but not least, Alaphilippe is back. So, now only the traditional sprint finale is left, a 126k sprint stage into Rome. There's some serious corners in the finale, so we may well see sprint trains getting derailed. Betting odds were not yet available at the time of recording, yet here's the riders to watch in my book. Merlier pipped Milan for the win on stage 18, so he's clearly still in the mix. Not in the least, because there's once more a lot of twisting and turning in the final kilometers. As last year, I wouldn't be surprised to see another show by Ghana in the streets of Rome. At UAE, I wouldn't be surprised if Molano joins in the team festivities. Then again, what a way would it be for the team to top it off with a win in the streets of Rome. At Visma Lisa Bike, I'll be watching Tim van Dijk, Pascal at Bahrain Victorious, Gaviria at Movistar, who's been very consistent throughout this Giro, Mikkels at Intermarché and Anjolkowski at Kofidis, Fiti at Grupama, Ewan at Jaiko Alula and Jonathan Milan at Little Trek, Hugo Hofstetter at Israel Premier Tech, Caden Groves at Alpesin de Koenig and Alberto Dainese at Tudor, Zanoncello at Bardiani and Lonardi at Polti Cometa. Here's how these fast men have been doing on this Giro sprint stages, with Merlier and Milan sharing the victories, and Aniolkowski, Gaviria, Gross and Molano floating towards the top in the final few stages. In terms of stars, with his win on stage 18, Merlier moves back up to four-star status along with Milan. Gross gets three stars, Gaviria, Aniolkowski, Molano and Dainese get two stars, Lonardi, Fitti and Mikkels each get one star. Then, before I give you my podium prediction, I want to take a second to thank you all for tagging along during this 107 Giro d'Italia. It has by far been my best Grand Tour till date in terms of interactions, coffees and super tanks, views and watch hours, which is absolutely amazing. There's more to come in the future, so please feel free to spread the love. In terms of podium prediction then for this final stage of the Giro, I'm going to call Milan to win on his purple bike ahead of Merlier and Groves. Enjoy the stage! And to avoid post-Grand Tour Blues, check out my Tour de France route preview. Have a good one.